Okay. All right, so usually when somebody begs outside, they usually have a sign that says help needs food or something like that. Well, now I had to use my podcast, The Power of the Voice, because I use Facebook, Twitter, sometimes it'll help. I get two people to help me, but you got to understand there's delivery fees and... You know, it's okay to twenty dollars, but I would have to get like a medium sized pizza, and that's all I could get. But when your food stamps cup doesn't come on until the twenty first, it's a long stretch. And also, when you can't get out because of hundred degree hot weather, couple of degrees hot weather on which is now the hottest place on earth, that and you can't get out, that's not gonna cut it. So I really, really need some food deliveries. I I really need some food deliveries. And then plus on top of that, all the stuff that I panic bought, I almost I, I just about almost used it. I used up all, all my Gatorades already, and I'm almost using up my lemonade. And I'm scared of the fact that I might have to use uh drink nasty tap water. Well, then again, it might not be nasty because they had like uh, one of those. Uh, it, it almost looks like they have the water purifier at their place, but I don't know. Because the uh, the uh, sink that uh, the way the water come out the sink does look difficult. I'm gonna have to try it once I'm out of uh, out of juice. But I don't even know how long. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna stay long, 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 cold long enough. I just uh, unless I just put it in the jug. And do it that way. But then I won't have no taste until. Because you got to understand, August, I'm getting ready to go home to podcast movie. Tell you, I got to put money in my lift. I have to have money for four days, you know, give me back and forth to the uh, other hotel. I'm not staying in at the podcast movie ho- uh, hotel this time, just like I am at the uh, Podfest Hotel because I found it. For seven days, not seven days, for seven hundred fifty dollars, but I'm going to prepay my hotel starting half of when September comes. If I don't go to uh, Galveston or Key West in September, then I will hold off in October for the, for the move, and then start paying again uh, once uh, October. No, once the rest of October, November, December comes around because January. January, the, uh, the last part of January is also on the 20th something. Then that's when I go to Podfest. Okay, so. And then I got to get the uh, Southwest flight to get to Florida. And then if I am on Galveston, I'll have to get to uh, back and forth to uh, Bush Intercontinental. Or if I am in Key West, I have to get back and forth to MIA, which is Miami International Airport. And I have to think along those routes on how to how that I'm gonna get over there, unless I could just uh, fly to Orlando once I get to um, MIA and Podfest during the podcast uh, Podfest flight. But MIA is gonna be a short flight, maybe like oh maybe thirty minutes, something like that. Not gonna be that that not gonna be that long. It's almost like an intercon inter uh, interconnecting flight, so. It's just the uh, the Denver one that I had to do. Well, I'm going to be in Denver in August anyway. But it's the it's the uh, it's the heat is getting me. But uh, anyway, the reason why I came in, I have to ask you for your help. Now, the way that I could do it is I could put the email address down below. But the only email address that I can announce on, on the air is bigdcountry11 at gmail.com if you want to send the Grub of gift card. That, that's the only email that I could safely announce. But the other email that I will leave on the description down below, uh, but I can't uh, say it out loud. But the bigdcountry11 at gmail.com, I could say it loud if you want to uh, do a digital Grub of gift card and send it to me. But it has to be, see, there is also taxes and fees. So I know some people have sent me $15 and $20, but they don't know that there's uh, there's fees and 
uh, delivery fee because if I can't if I can't pay the delivery fee, I can't get my food. Uh, same thing as Walmart. If I'm not a Walmart Plus, which I'm gonna have to do, redo probably when I get back from podcast movement, and before I start paying the uh, Podfest Hotel, uh, I'm gonna have to start uh, rejoining Walmart Plus again, so I don't have to get the uh, delivery fee. But the problem is, you have to buy above a certain price. And in order to get all the food, you have to buy it uh, buy at a certain price, and that's ridiculous. The inflation is really getting people, and I can't believe I had to beg on the radio just to get help from the citizens. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, I did that on the street. You think that was hard? I was accused of one time of thinking that I do drugs. I don't do drugs because I can't stand the pain, and I don't belong in jail. Well, I don't have to be in physical jail, but I am in jail because of this heat. And I'm also in jail because of poverty. Okay. But nonetheless, nonetheless, I need your help. I have 1,008 1, followers on Facebook because I have a business account. And then 300 or something that are following me on Facebook. And only a good two people help. And thankfully, one is the prime minister and another one is a, uh, a regular citizen, thank God, a big D country. And the same, same thing like on Twitter. Now, if I have all those people, I have like, about five, I have a thousand people following on Twitter and then I'm following another thousand something on Twitter. And yet, only two people. Only two people help. If we, if a lot of people would help, I won't be starving as much. See, I can't get to uh, soup kitchens because a, it's too hot, and then b, I'm gonna have to call the lift to come back to get me, because it's not my car, it's somebody else's car. And number two, the refrigerator here. Two refrigerators, two freezers, and one house with eight people, it's still full. And then I had to come back and have to smell chicken. I had to smell somebody else's cooking. And I had to be jealous. And then knowing the fact that I had to starve it. Today, it reached 100 for the age, 100 that is going to be either five, it's either going to be six or seven days or whatever it was. One time it was seven, another, now it's going to be six. I don't even know what the heck is going on. Okay. There's foods that I'm used to. And then sometimes I don't eat the, uh, uh, at regular time interval because I have to eat at different times because sometimes it might be hot for me to eat and I have to eat later. Or I eat because when I'm worried about running out, then I have to go to ask people for help again. And you got to understand, a week is a long time to wait. It's a long time to wait. Now, I know it's take three days for, to die if you don't drink anything. But then, I guess if you don't eat, it's like uh, 30 days or something like that. I'm not willing to take that chance. I got stuff that I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to Invaded Pod Fest, uh, Podcast Movement. I'm looking forward to uh, Invaded Pod Fest. Hopefully, I could go home back uh, to my other... Oh, here's another announcement I want to make. Speaking of home, if I haven't announced this already, besides Carnival Cruise Line, but I haven't even got to register from a birthday trip yet because everything's still been so damn expensive, I now pronounce that both podcast movement that is Prime Minister. Uh, that is owned by Prime Minister and uh, also my Vice President, uh, running mate, Gerald Easley. Um, and Podfest is by Chris K. Uh, I don't want to spell his last name wrong, so I would just say call him Chris K. But he's another Prime Minister. And what that simply means, they both represent Big D Country. And they are amnexed into the main, pan uh, the main palace. Which means they are the real 
big D country. They are the real palace. Not the one that I pay rent to rest my head on. The reason why I don't call the, the, the palace the real palace that I'm laying on right now is because I don't have a queen. Okay? I have a pseudo first lady in Dr. Irene. I'm not even dating and the, the people that I'm, that I'm well, so-called dating, they must be the scammers or trying to scam me and then try to build rapport with me just to scam me. In other words, they try to build trust with me just to scam me. I'm struggling myself. I'm asking, I'm begging on my own show to help, to ask for help. I'm begging my own show. Okay. So this is getting real serious, y'all. Please. Even though I'm not a famous show, if I was a famous show, I probably sure wouldn't be struggling. I probably sure wouldn't be struggling by now. I would have money for food. I would have money to think to buy, even at pod, uh, podcast moment, because there are an expo show, and pod, same thing with PodFest. There's also an expo show where they have uh, different vendors from uh, different podcasting companies. And I've seen a lot of great podcasting equipment, but there's a portable mic that I wanted, but I couldn't get it because it's like, it's so much and I couldn't even get it. A portable night mic, a nice portable mic that I could do interviews and, and everything like that and put it and put it like, uh, oh, maybe the USB port or a computer or something like that. Something where I could do interviews anywhere except for using the phone because sometimes the phone battery at a hotel, it drains out so fast. Because a lot of people are using their phones and taking pictures of the slides or recording the uh, the speaker or something like that. And it turns out people's phone. It turns out people's battery. And then there's a time that I stay at the hotel. The only time I really stayed at a, a podcast or uh, a uh, convention hotel was in Nashville. I was able to find a good deal in Nashville. Well, it was a good deal. I had to... Uh, get a loan, and then also pay off uh, some parts of the room. But still, I was just able to stay there. But this one that I found at PodFest at that hotel with the Windham, even though I didn't like where they was going to stay, I was hoping that they stay at the other hotel where I liked it. You know, the one where I had a panic attack in, but it was so convenient where everything was all in one convenient place. But it was a good deal. It was like $750. Yes, and they wanted almost all my paycheck, but I'm going to see if I can split some some of the payments because I still got to get the flight there. I'm trying to manage my lift, and then the only thing I could do is get food. That's it. That's it. Because I need to eat when I be at these conferences. I need to eat so I can give you the best coverage on podcast movement, Podcast Movement Evolution, and also PodFest. But I need help between now and then. They've been talking about this heat wave in the south, southeast and southwest, and even in California for days. This is the hottest story. No pun intended. This is the hottest story of the whole summer. And Texas is at ground zero. Literally ground zero. Okay. I need help. I get sick easily. I already had a heat stroke once this year. Now, surprisingly, I didn't get a heat exhausted, but I did get a heat stroke one year. I'm trying to stay because usually they don't. They, they just try to cool you down, and then they send you right back. They send you right back. It's usually only you'll be in the ER for a day. You don't even get admitted. You don't even get admitted. Even though they say heat stroke is a medical emergency, yeah, you die, but if it's not that bad and everything like that, you could go home on the same day. On the same day. So that's why I try to fight it. I need your help. I need your help. I'm begging on my own show. I'm begging on my own show. Like I said, I'm not famous. I'm trying to get there, but I'm not famous. If I was famous, I would have had, I would have been making money al already. I would have been, <laughs> I would have been even giving away vacations already. 
I have incentives where I could get vacations. I could give uh, uh, hotel uh, savings cards. I could give restaurant incentives. I could get that. But I can't advertise enough because I don't have the advertising budget. Okay? I, if it's not my time to go yet to be with my late wife, to be with uh, my mentor, JV, to be with uh, Tom Jackson Breakthrough, to be with my mother-in-law, if it's not my time to be with them, then I don't want to struggle like I already am. I'm struggling to find a way. I'm struggling to get the thing that I need. I don't even have a belt. I have to get a belt before I even leave to go home. I have to save some money at least to get the belt. That would probably mean I would have to get some Walmart and then some probably Grub Hub too or something like that. But then I had to put money in the lift because, oh, yeah, I had to get to the airport. I ate the airport and I had to go back to Denver Airport once uh, the 26th rolled in. So please help me. I will leave my actual email to send me a group. I prefer it there, but I just gave my second email so I can at least say it on the air. But please, please, I need every citizen under the sound of my voice that whether it's listening on YouTube, whether it's listening on a different podcast, uh, different areas that I'm podcasting in, because I'm trying to be a full-time podcaster, I am literally begging for y'all. I even did a public prayer. And I'm going to see if I can get that public prayer. I did a public prayer. I'm going to have to find it. Come on. Come on, Facebook. Come on. I'm trying to find a public prayer. Because this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I did want to read my new quote here. Uh, after I did the uh, public prayer that I uh, found. Uh, yeah, I found. Oh, and by the way, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu was uh, was uh, put into a hospital, and hopefully he is okay. We are praying for Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, we stand by Israel here on the Big D Zone. Big D Country stands with Israel, and uh, hoping that he is okay. Uh, hopefully, Hopefully, maybe it's the heat, heat like uh, like I have, but uh, hopefully they'll give out more information. So, prayer for you, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, and uh, Israel needs you. Israel needs you. You're God's city, remember? You're the Lord's city. Anyway, here's the prayer that I uh, was saying on pay- Facebook, and I try to say a uh, uh Say it publicly. Lord, I am I am saying a public prayer because I'm trapped in a very dangerous heat wave for a week and I need food, but I can't get out. Please send me a huge blessing. You know I am partly blind and I can't drive and delivery charges are sky high. Lord, send me a lot of people that can help me Thank you in advance. Amen. That was the uh, uh that was the uh one that I tried to say. And I, I uh before I get to the other announcement for my, my new tagline for the show, I'm also gonna give it three this uh about my announcement for the home. Again, since I can't get back home to Carnival Cruise Ship because it's been so expensive, it's still the main palace of Big D country. But now there are two main parts of the main palace. One is podcast movement and evolution, Prime Minister and future Vice President Jared, uh, Jared Easley. And second part of the main palace is PodFest, second Prime Minister Chris K. I feel more at home there, and I feel more alive at there at Carnival podcast movement, and podcast, I could truly be myself. Okay, now I'm going to end this public beg- begging with uh, 
yeah, with the uh the new uh new call for the show. <clears throat> or the new ad for the show. The big D zone is funny rant. The NFL pickup. The big D zone is Convo uh is uh yeah, the big D zone is conv- covering podcast movement and podcast movement evolution. Also covering podcast. It's also Witterer's life. The struggle being real. The big D zone is interviews from regular guests to leaders of tomorrow. The big D zone is co hosting team, first member the sheriff of Big D country. The Big D Zone, home of the best citizen of the net on the net today. I said in the net, but it's supposed to be on. Welcome home to Big D country. I will do a separate uh, segment, but uh, I'm gonna keep this there. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it as a I'm gonna do it as a separate segment and put it like in the ad. And I will probably be doing it in the bios and stuff like that, but. Uh, but please help me. Please help me. Uh, if you're doing a grub pub, the public email is uh, big D, uh, big D country 11 at gmail.com. I have the private one down below where you can send the gift card if you want to do it that way. And that'll be digital card for grub pub. And the PayPal one, I can't say the name because they have too hard of a way to say it. So I'll list it down in the marquee. So please help. Please help. 